kids, I'm Pearl the Mermaid, and this is my best friend Cecil the Sea Lion. Today's adventure is called Pearl and Cecil Take Out the Trash. In it, we meet Mr. Scruggles, a boat captain that needs to learn the golden rule. Oh, I know that one. The golden rule says you should always treat others how you want to be treated. That's right, Cecil. In this story, we help Mr. Scruggles learn how important it is to respect all of the creatures in the sea. When someone doesn't treat you, your friends, or your home with respect, you've got to have a plan to make things better. Like we always say, set a goal, chart a course, and make it happen. It's another beautiful day off the coast of Southern California. But even though the day may seem perfect, something just isn't quite right. Pearl, oh, I think I hear someone crying. <gasps> it's Bella the sea bass. Oh, Bella, what's wrong? Oh, Pearl, Cecil, it was horrible. Mr. Scruggles dumped his garbage off his barge again. It's getting all over the ocean floor. <gasps> That's terrible. I swam through this strange thing with six holes because I thought it was a toy, but now it's stuck. My fin hurts and I can't swim very well. What are we going to do, Pearl? I'm so sorry that happened to you, Bella, but it's not your fault. Hmm, there's trash drifting around everywhere. Whoa, this is messier than my bedroom. And that's not all. Mr. Scruggles' barge was dripping oil, and Otto the sea otter got the oil all over his fur. He's not feeling very well either. Everything is going to be okay, Bella. Hold still while I help free you from those plastic rings. There. How does that feel? Better. My fin still hurts a little, but it'll heal soon. Bella, you go home and rest up. Cecil and I will go check on Otto. Cecil and I swam through the water, searching everywhere for Otto. We finally found him floating on his back, covered in thick, dirty, smelly oil. He looked so sad. Pearl, Cecil, I need help. Don't worry, we'll get you cleaned up in a jiffy, Otto. Cecil, will you please go find some soap from Fisherman's Pier? We need to clean up our friend. Of course, I'll be right back. Cecil raced to the pier as fast as he could, found the soap, and returned a few moments later. Cecil and I scrubbed and scrubbed, cleaning the oil from Otto's sticky fur. When we were finished, Otto hopped out of our hands and swam around happily. I feel so much better. Thank you, Pearl. Thank you, Cecil. You're such good friends. You're very welcome, Otto. But Pearl, what are we going to do about Mr. Scruggles? We have to make sure this doesn't happen again. I don't think Mr. Scruggles understands how much the garbage in the ocean is damaging our friends and our home. We need to help him understand how much his actions are hurting us. Yeah, mean Mr. Scruggles dumped garbage all over our home. We should give him a taste of his own medicine and toss all that smelly junk right back at his boat. Hold on now, Cecil. Mr. Scruggles made a mistake, but that doesn't make it okay to throw garbage and call him mean. If we want Mr. Scruggles to respect the ocean, we should treat him with respect too. Maybe he just doesn't understand that what he did was wrong? We should start by talking to him and helping him see things from our point of view. For the next few days, Cecil and I collected trash all across the ocean floor. We found cans hidden in the clam beds, bottles floating in the kelp, plastic rings and bags caught on rocks, and even soggy cardboard boxes. We used nets by the old sunken ship to hold the garbage until they were full. Finally, when the nets couldn't hold any more garbage, we were ready to put the next part of our plan into action. Mr. Scruggles is leaving Fisherman's Pier. He'll be here soon. Cecil and I worked together and carried the nets full of garbage towards Mr. Scruggles' barge. Once the barge was close enough, Cecil and I waved and called out to Mr. Scruggles. Hey, what's going on? Hello, sir. I'm Pearl and this is my best friend Cecil. It's a pleasure to meet you. If you have a moment, we'd like to show you something. I was wondering if you could take a look at this garbage. My friends and I have been hard at work cleaning it out of the water. It's really been a problem, sir. And we were hoping you could help? There's so much below the surface that most people don't get to see. We wanted a chance to introduce ourselves and explain how much a clean ocean means to us. There's a whole world underneath the waves. It's a big, beautiful, fragile world. Sometimes I get my fins caught in the plastic rings from soda cans. That hurts a lot. Oh, when 
I swim through oil? It sticks to my fur and makes it hard to swim. When trash goes into the ocean, it doesn't go away. It falls right into our homes. It makes the water cloudy and the fish unhappy. Mr. Scruggles looked at the nets full of garbage. Then he looked at his new ocean friends. Finally, he understood. All that trash on my boat. I've just been tossing it into the water. I get so busy, and it's easy to throw things overboard and never think about them again. But that's your home. I'm so sorry. Thank you for helping me understand why throwing things into the ocean is wrong, Pearl. From now on, no more dumping garbage into the sea. And I promise to fix that oil leak, too. Thank you, Mr. Scruggles. Mr. Scruggles hoisted the nets full of garbage back onto the deck of his boat and waved a friendly goodbye. Our plan had worked. Mr. Scruggles learned respect for all the creatures of the sea and never dumped garbage into the ocean again. Remember, you can't get respect from others without giving it first. When you have a problem, try talking with the other person to help them understand your point of view. By being honest, kind, and respectful, you can make things better. You might even make a new friend. All you have to do is set a goal, chart a course, and make it happen. The Sand of the Savings Club is happy.